Welcome back to Cigar Time, sponsored by Alec Bradley. And we're pleased again to have Sam and Jonathan back with us. Yay. We're happy to be here. July is Alec Bradley month. So, yes, it you know, is. come on in. We have some fabulous deals that Scott will explain to you later. And uh, what else? That's it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week. It was great. It was great. <laughs> Never been better. All right. The lovely Miss Tia will tell us about our cigar today. Today is the Alec Bradley Lineage. Just want to point out that it has a pigtail shape on the top. So all you got to do is just twist off. You have a perfect hole to smoke out of. Um, the wrapper is Honduran. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> the binder is Nicaraguan. And the filler is both Sorry, Honduran and Nicaraguan. There's a multiple of sizes with this. This is actually a new release, but we get to smoke it before it's released, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, it's multiple sizes, but they have their spotlighting the 7x70. This is the first that Alec Bradley has ever made, so that's going to be pretty cool for all you big ring gauge smokers out there that like a big gauge ring. Um, the taste profile is red pepper, spice, meatiness, <laughs> Earthiness, sweetness, apple, citrus, cedar, and leather. I couldn't remember all of them, so I had to cheat. No real cinnamon? Quick. It's a pretty no, basic cigar. No cinnamon. I would think cinnamon basic. Would go right, right well, good yeah. With that. This is going to be really complex. I can't wait to light this one up. Um, real quick, I just want to say that um, you guys know that Alec Bradley is named after his two sons, Alec and Bradley. And he made this particular cigar for his sons. It's to commemorate that they are of age to smoke a cigar. So I think that's pretty cool. I bet they never smoked a cigar before. They were <laughs> Absolutely not. And and hence, the Honduran tobacco also comes from the Trojes region. So. Hence the name lineage. Is there is there a smoking age in Honduras? Probably not. <laughs> There's none in Cuba. Look at India. Oh. That little fat kid smoking. You know, three years old. Remember the little chubby kid sitting there smoking. You watch no. packs way of too much YouTube. Cigar no, cigarettes no. a day. No. You've seen that, right? On YouTube. Oh my yeah. God, it was amazing. <clears throat> I couldn't believe it. Three years old, just. But not in this country. No, not no. in this country. We would not recommend that. No, absolutely not. Eighteen and over, and you can play and smoke. Mm -hmm. Keep going. 19 and New Jersey. I'm going to see where this stops. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to see what there, happens. There's three states and it's 19. <laughs> Real. If the, feds, if the feds have their way, it'll be 21 all over the place. Wow. But you know something? I'm, like, I'm kind of okay with that. For I'm premium yeah, cigars, yeah, okay I mean, the feds are up our butts on everything else. The 90 states seems to have uh, gained a lot of traction in the last few years. I'm not going to go into what I suppose all the reasons are, but leave that on the side. Uh, I almost support the 21. Because... Uh, Half of me says 21 is great. The other half of me says you know, if you're old enough to serve and go over to Afghanistan or Iraq, yeah, yeah. you should be able to smoke a cigar. Absolutely. And they do send them That's over absolutely. there. Absolutely. So I'm kind of torn them. between. They do them send them over there, yeah, so that would kind of be unfair. Oh, don't you know? forget, each one of our stores, uh, every month practically, we send a large load of cig cigars to the troops. Yeah, mm, yeah. Uh, we just sent some out last week, actually. We mm -hmm. sent a large load. And, and, and feel free, drop off, we add to the uh, to the boxes, and we send many hundreds a month overseas. Uh, we have a number of uh, chaplains that we use, and uh, you know, if, if you have cigars you want to buy for the troops, or have some excess cigars you're not going to smoke or anything, feel free to drop them off, and we'll make sure they get there, and you'll be doing a good deed. There's or actually if, a customer. You know somebody that serves. There's actually a customer know. from the Reading store that comes in. He's now a police officer, but he did serve, and he said that they. they and he was one that did get a cigar that was sent over. So that's, that's amazing. Awesome. That's, that's great. Yeah. That's great. We get a lot. We get a lot of letters all the time, mm -hmm. fan mail all the time because we we as well at Alec Bradley support um, wounded warriors, cigars yeah, okay. for soldiers. Yeah. We do a lot of work with those organizations. Big supporters. Yeah. No. I mean, uh, I hate to say it this way, but the way the cigarette companies got a lot of people indoctrinated into smoking is during the Second World War, sure. the major tobacco companies sent over free cigarettes. Well, cigar is a little different. This is not an addictive product, although some uh, some nanny state uh, proponents would tell you it is, but clearly it's not. What's the nanny mean? Grandma like? Oh, like like nannies watching over oh, you to make sure oh, okay. you do everything correctly. Kind of like Big Brother. You know, yeah. you, you don't drink too big of a soda. You don't oh, eat a okay. donut. You no don't salt. smoke anything. Can't eat trans fats. The Can pleasure eat. police. The pleasure police. The yeah. PPs. Yeah. It's all right to go into the liquor store and buy three gallons of hooch, down it, and then get in your car and drive around. 
that get into a, kids getting into a school bus and no seat belts. belts. That's right. my that's been my rag for a long, long time. <laughs> the most valuable commodity we all have is our children, and to think that those children are being rolled around on a school bus. And I'm not saying that all the school bus drivers are not good, but you know they're not professional drivers per se. And you got 40, 50 kids on a bus and not strapped into a seatbelt is amazing to me. I know. And one person tried to tell me, well, what happens if the bus goes off a bridge and plunges into the river and they can't get out because they're strapped in? Give me a break. I know. I think we could all see through well, that. What's the difference of somebody driving in the car and going into the I same know, thing? I know. I know. But you, you, don't they're get more me. more likely to get hit by a truck, an 18-wheeler, than they are going off a bridge. Yeah, There's no so. seatbelts on I buses. Know, I know. All right. Or cabs. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't, yeah, this show is not about the nanny state. Unfortunately, we <laughs> get off on a tangent about this. All right. Uh, you know what we haven't discussed? What? We, what you know, we, Chatty Cathy here next day. <laughs> <laughs> I've been pretty quiet for the last two weeks, haven't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah Jonathan, that. I've known you a long time, way too long. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell us about your background? Um, I picked up cigars uh, around the legal age period. I was 18. Of course, Just you never smoked one before. You never think. smoked one, never was a cigarette smoker. Um, I grew up in South Jersey, and um, you know, at the time, the smoking age was 18. You know, I no smokers in my family except for my... Um, great uncle. I can remember standing around the barbecue and he was always smoking cigars. I'm like, this is the coolest thing on earth. Yeah. Eventually, I want, you know, when I turn 18, I want to smoke a cigar. Mm -hmm. Cool. Good. So it just so happened that uh, right around that time or right after that time, my buddy uh, brought back some what were definitely fake Cuban cigars. I really didn't care. A cigar right. was a cigar. Yeah, yeah. I lit it up and I just from that point forward, this is what I want to do. Oh. So I started in a local Philadelphia area shop in 2003, worked in a shop throughout college at the time. It was the, uh, I believe it was the oldest or second oldest cigar shop in the nation. Uh, David P. Ehrlich's, unfortunately, it no longer exists yeah. in Boston. Yep. I want to talk about a nanny state. Hmm. Um, left college, uh, had a very, very short stint as a headhunter. Uh, didn't like that too much. Went right back into retail tobacco. Spent a couple more years there, uh, two years with the Flor Dominicana cigars, and outside I do have to remember, remember where that. I came I from. I remember that, yeah, yeah. I and, do. And uh, it's now over two and a half years with uh, Alec Bradley, and uh, I think Sam said it in an earlier episode we've been on, uh, working for Alec Bradley is definitely like working with family. Uh, Sam is like a brother to me. Alan, the owner of the company, is like a father to me. It's a really, really, really great organization to be working for. And I definitely love this industry. Well, when you were a head owner, how actually do you go about shrinking the heads? Yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to say, you guys seem awesome. much like a shark to me, more of a player. So this is, you know, perfect. Uh, I, want, I want to find out why, why you say they call you the player. Why, why, I, why they call me the player. Uh, Sam did hit on that a couple weeks back. I do enjoy playing pool. I do enjoy playing poker. I do find myself pretty good with that. And uh, That's for Tia, Sam said. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, tough crowd today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough crowd. <laughs> I deal with them all. We've the all time. gotten to know each other a little bit yeah. better. Oh yeah, yeah. Exactly. one big happy family. Now, you see. <laughs> if you were to come back next week, you'd be in your underwear. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Nobody wants we'll to see that. Yeah. Hey, speak for yourself. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I, I I can vouch for one thing. You know, we've dealt with Alec Bradley since the beginning. And uh, they are like that. I mean, that's the way they are. I mean, you know, if you're a day late, they 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 paying your bill. They just send somebody out named Bruno to try to collect the money. No, no, no. It's a family business. Now they're very nice people to deal with. They're a pleasure to deal with, actually. And all the representation over the years that we've had from this company has always been of the top echelon of the reps who call on us. Thank you, Mark. As you can imagine, we have a lot of people that call on us trying to sell us cigars. And in fact, we do buy a lot from a lot of them. But some stand out and some don't. And this company it really has always been a standout business with us. And we appreciate our relationship with them and we appreciate the fact that we're able to bring you a, a full range of these fine cigars. Uh, speaking of fine cigars, should we talk about this one? Yeah, Art, I'll tell you, you know, what's interesting is, and it's been interesting for us, is the word family blend kind of gets lost. because I love the, that cigar. The lineage is, is overbearing, but this is kind of like... Um, 
the extension of Family Blend, the continuation of what, what Family Blend has been for Alec Bradley. Family Blend, the original, uh, signed by the three fathers of the uh, original three heads of the company, George Sosa, the Master Chief, mm -hmm. Vice President of Sales for our company, Ralph uh, Rafael Montero, who is the Executive Vice President and Alan's partner, and of course, Alan Rubin, signed by his father, David Rubin, the patriarch of our company. And this is kind of the extension, Alan's two children, Alec and Bradley being able, as Tia said, to smoke cigars. And really what, what's cool about this, kind of like the, the insider trading information here, is that this cigar is, is, is not just about Alec and Bradley, it's about family. And that's what Alan and, and Ralph really wanted to drive home. It's about guys like John Lipson that consider Alan a father, a guy like myself who considers Alan, you know, a mentorish, fatherish figure. And everybody else across the, the country who works with us, yeah. it's about the continuation of family and the celebration of who's his two children, Alec and Bradley, who are into cigars, who smoke cigars, who love cigars, and who love what Alec Bradley and their father stand for. And that's what makes you know this cigar very close to our heart and and special. What went into the blending this, and what were the what was the what what were they looking for? Well, because of the continuation of Family Blend, we wanted a cigar that was very approachable. And as mm -hmm. we smoke this, I think that you'll find that it is is very approachable, very approachable in flavor. Um, I can't believe I'm kind of disappointed that Tia didn't even mention the band. Yeah, um, you know, oh, yeah. She, does, she, oh, she does that. She does that on her commentary. Believe me, she'll mention the band. <laughs> You don't have to worry about now that. I ruin, now I ruined the thing. Surprise! Okay. That's like a big lie. Uh, so again, the um, the approachability of the blend and the approachability of I think the price point, which we'll yeah. talk about. And we, you know, again, we blend for flavor. We don't blend for strength. A lot of the guys that are out there, this is going to be a full body. Yeah. We blend mm -hmm. for flavor, and this really had to match where we were going with the continuation of family blend. Hence the lineage, and with this cigar in particular, I think that it, once you pick it up and once you smoke it, and I'll let you guys give your comments without giving too much away, you're going to be very impressed. This cigar is definitely going to deliver. It's delivering to me right now, I'll tell you that. I'm enjoying it. Absolutely. How do you, you know, because I know you buy tobacco from various people and the like, I mean, how do you know, when you pick a blend, when you, uh, not, not a blend, excuse me, that's the end of the story. When you pick a project, Yes. When you say, let's let's say this, the lineage product yep. project, where, how do you figure out who's going to do this? Okay, so I'll give you an example, particularly about lineage. When we started smoking this some time ago, what happens is Ralph and Alan will go down to the factory. Right. Once they go down to the factory and they're working with either the Placencia family or with right. the Andamondo family, once they're working with those two families. We then say, all right, we've got a base for this project and working with specific tobaccos from specific regions. And then we break that base down. So once we start to spoke these components, Nicaraguan and Honduran tobaccos, then we really start to play with it. Now, of course, price point comes into factor if we were just kind of like a flashback here with Mundial with seven different tobaccos. We know we've got yeah, a lot of money lot, in that yeah. blend itself. Yeah. So we've got a little bit less money in a blend like the Lineage, which has fewer tobaccos in the cigar itself. So on this particular cigar, the Lineage, and we talk about approachability, we start to blend with that base and then we start to make component changes. So we break down into regions. So whether it's, we're talking about Nicaraguan, whether it's a farm in Esteli, whether it's a farm in Jalapa, right. whether it's a farm in Condega, that's how we start to piece together these components so that we have the right price point that we want to take to market. We have the right tobaccos that are in the cigar that are approachable for the flavor and, and profile and right. complexity that we want to we want to get to the end consumer. Now what do you look for? You know a lot of people practice what I what the English used to call the laying down, the lay down period. How will the cigar age in your opinion? I mean it, it's, it's not old enough to have been aged. Right. When I say age, I mean age once the consumer buys it. Right. Well our, you know I'll tell tough you, this question. is. I know, it's, 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 I know it's, it's a very difficult, it's very it, subjective. It I is think. a really tough question. Here's essentially what we do. Once, once we have this cigar, and we, we, we think we've got a cigar, we take that cigar, it's then, we smoke it in the factory, of course. They send the samples up right. from the factory and we smoke those. And then we put age on the product. So at, at a week out, we smoke the cigar. Right. Two weeks out, we smoke it again. Three weeks out, we smoke it again. And this process mm -hmm. continues for months right. and months right. until we're satisfied that we. At a certain point, we feel, and especially with Alan and Ralph being the experts that they are, that we know that a cigar is going to age 
in a certain way. Now, there's right. always, believe me, there's always oh, surprises. Sure. We talked about Mundial before. Mm -hmm. Another cigar that we had, and, and, and John can reflect on this, in a, and, and I don't know if you guys remember this, but at the IPCPR a year back, we had a, a blend, Nicapuro. Oh, mm -hmm. So, yeah. and you guys yeah. are all familiar with yeah. that. Yeah, of course. It's yeah. a, I think it's a pretty we, uh, good, pretty good cigar. We had that on the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did? Yeah, we, okay. Yeah, we rated that. So, those of you who are familiar with Nicoporo and have smoked Nicoporo, we had made over 90,000 cigars. And when we got to the, the IPCPR, the annual trade show, we were all there. We're in full production. 90,000 cigars are made. We smoked the cigars at the show. And I'll use the, the word that I used before, sustainable. Alan felt that the blend was not sustainable. We pulled all the product. We, ha we, we shelved 90,000 cigars that completely went away, and we went back mm -hmm. to the process. Really? There was a component that was in there, absolutely. There was a component that was in there that wasn't working for the cigar, so we pulled it. Because we're, again, our mantra, if you look on all of the new bands, it says live true. We're, we try to live true every day, and we try to do the right thing because we want this company to be around for years to come. I think it's time to go around and assess everybody's opinion of the cigar. We'll start with Scott. I, I like the cigar. Actually, the, 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 I have smoked this before. Jonathan brought it in a few weeks ago, I guess. Several and, um, weeks ago at this point. Several yeah. weeks. Yeah. And I, I smoked it like all the, I mean, literally all the way down. I absolutely love this. Absolutely. I definitely get the red pepper, the spice, the meatiness, the earthiness, the sweetness, apple citrus, cedar and leather. <laughs> Explain so, meatiness real quick. If you could. Meatiness? Meatiness. Yeah. Uh, we're, talking, we're talking meatball Party. or Party. sirloin steak. Party. Okay. <laughs> now, it, I, I actually find this cigar very smooth. Mm -hmm. um, I'm getting some spice. It's not overpowering. Um, the sweetness is definitely there, and I remember this from the first one I had, as well as the earthiness and the leather. Those are the predominant flavors I'm getting from this. So I think it's I think it's quite complex. Mm -hmm. Rob? Um, Why are you smiling? I'm always afraid when he starts smiling <laughs> like that. I, yeah, I hate this. I really hate to say this. Um, am, is it, this is the second one I've smoked. Am I am I pushing I'm, the button that only, that sends twelve thousand volts through your butt? No, no, not at all. Oh, okay, uh, no. This is the second one I've smoked of this cigar. The first one I absolutely one thousand percent loved. Like yeah, Scott said, I smoked it, it to like yeah. less yeah. than a nub. It was awesome. There's something about this particular cigar that it's not hitting any of the, the my taste profile at all. Um, I'm getting the red pepper, I'm getting um, the spice to it, but there's something in this particular cigar, and you know, it's all handmade stuff. It's not, each cigar is different, so you can't, that's why I have to smoke more than one cigar yeah. to figure out if you actually like a cigar. I wonder if it's the Toffee. Uh, the, the, yeah. It's the Toffee from my yeah. It's going to be the Toffee from a few yeah. weeks ago. And, yeah. and I would have said when I lit it and took a few puffs, I would have said this is absolutely spot on for Rob. I would have yeah, said Rob loves the cigar. It's not that I don't I like know. the cigar. After all these years, I know their taste. Right. I know their taste. It's just something about this particular cigar. Might, maybe the roller rolled it a little differently. I, I don't know. But it just doesn't taste the same So you got as my I cigar. Did. You yeah. wound up with my cigar. No, it's not plugged. It's, it's burning perfectly. I mean, it's burning. Everything is perfect about the cigar. There's something about it is not hitting so it's just my different taste than profile. The first one. It's different than the first one. That's why I have to smoke more of them to figure out if I actually like the cigar or not. You can make that happen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Another, yeah. We're definitely loading Rob up with it. It's not that I don't like no, the cigar. He loved it. He loved it. It's just different than the first one I had. You bring up a good point. So. At all of July, you can buy 20 of these. Yeah, you can get 10 more for just $10. Yeah, so there you, yeah, there you go. So there, so you know. It's not that I don't like the cigar. Like I said, it it is good, um, but it just doesn't taste the same as it did before. So. On that yeah. note, we'll turn it over yeah. to the so lovely Miss T. going to kill me. No, now. not at all. I appreciate the honesty. Absolutely. When no, I first we light are, it up, we are. We'll be honest. Yeah, you can't. Excuse oh. me. No. When I first light it up, I get the red pepper. Definitely get the spice. Um, then as you smoke it, it seems to change. The complexity of it, it seems like they're all working together, which is really nice. You don't really get a cigar that all the flavors are working together. So I think if you like put all this in like a blend and you, you drink it, you would get all all the same flavors. Does that make sense? You know, like when sort you of. mix something like up. Like, yeah, like, yeah. no, when you're making a smoothie, this is almost like a smoothie. You're putting all those different components in and you mix it up and you get all of them at one time. I kind of get that with this. Um, it's a solid medium, I think. Very smooth. Love the construction. And the band is absolutely gorgeous. 
Um, the 1996 is on there, so that's cool, the commemoration yeah. of when it was first founded, right? That's correct. So yeah. I like that yeah. as well. Um, and this is by far, besides The Tempest, my favorite. So you knew it, really, I'm going to give this one. Well, uh, I love the cigar. I mean, I get everything, you know, I get, it's very smooth. It is, to me, very complex. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of different yeah. tastes. Mm -hmm. It's uh, not acidic at all. I don't. I don't get a lot, a lot of spice. On a, I get a little spice on the tip of the tongue. Right. Exactly where I'm feeling it. It's not too much. Yeah, it has a semi-sweet finish. It's not a real sweet finish, but it, 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 it's what a high-end premium cigar should taste like in this mode. And I think it kind of would, would appeal more to a younger audience. This seems more light for a younger audience. You know, like the 18 and up a little bit, like 18 to 25. I think would really enjoy this a lot. Yeah, I would. I would think, not the opposite, anybody. but I would. I, would I mean, think anybody. But I'm just saying it. To me, it just seems more, more youthful. It just seems more youthful. It is milder than the other ones we've sense? smoked the past couple seems weeks. More yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would agree with that. I would agree yeah. with that. Finally, they agree. Well, I think you just got you know, once in a while, and I don't want to call it a dud, but every it's once not in a while it's you not a dud. It's Remember, just so many things affect your taste. That is I mean, true. Yeah. It could be you're hungry. It's what you're drinking. It's the mood you're in. There's there's so many things that a can affect. A kiss from your girlfriend. Right. Anything. Exactly. <laughs> could have lipstick left. <laughs> a lot of things can influence. <laughs> 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 it's true. Did anybody check his lips? I'm mean, not my checking his lips. I'm next to him, and I'm not checking came. his lips. And then I you know what? None of these would ever get close enough. I don't think we can rate this yet. Why can't we rate it yet? It's too new. No, I, I shouldn't. It's too new, but I think Sam was going to talk a little bit about the retail price points, and then we can. Yeah, we don't it know. Oh, we don't know, we don't the, know the retail price points. Yes. That's true. Sam, she talk to us about the, the retail spot. price points. Well, let me let me just say this: that you, the seven by seventy ring gauge, is a cigar that is going to sell for under nine dollars. Oh, okay. Seven by seventy. The seven by seventy ring gauge, and that is a very large cigar, is going to sell. For under nine dollars. Wow! So you're you're safe in that seven to eight dollar range, mm -hmm. all the way across the profile. And Which I mean, is a good good spot. So you've got a sixty-five, you've got a six by sixty ring gauge. So you've got some traditional sizes in right. this line. Right. And again, I, you know, I feel that this is a cigar that is very approachable. And I think that the honesty that you're getting here from this group, um, if I can speak freely, is mm. is really awesome, because there's a lot of fluff that you find out there, uh -huh. whether it's online or some other mediums that are out there and for Rob to, to, to step up and to say maybe this wasn't a hidden spot for him, that happens all the time. Nobody's nobody's perfect and everybody's palate's different. So like Rob said, he'll revisit the cigar. Yeah. Hopefully he likes the next seventy five that he smokes right. of the Alec Bradley family blend of lineage. <clears throat> and, <laughs> and hopefully you pick it up and, and, and you try it too because I feel it's a really approachable. Feel free product. to get that gratuitous plug in anytime. <laughs> Artem, that's I'm yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, why else is he here? Yeah. I just like to say this is my first time smoking that, so uh, maybe I got to my taste first, what you like guys. My taste first one was absolutely oh drop dead fantastic. That's why I'm in love with it. You know, I'm we had a great. you were witnessing a cigar virgin. It's wonderful. Oh, no, it's your first. Put a price on that. It's no. your first time. <laughs> oh my god. That's fantastic. That's from the last show. So you fantastic. gotta keep watching every episode. Can, so when we say little Robin things like that, you know, you'll know what we're talking about. I don't know what the specials about. are. You haven't written down right there. So what's the event? We got any events? <laughs> well, all month long, um, with Alec Bradley, if you buy any, if you buy a box of Alec Bradley or any twenty cigars, you will get a ten pack for another ten dollars. Um, if you buy ten cigars, ten Alec Bradley cigars, you get a five pack for ten dollars, wow. and that's all month long. And I want to um, throw in. I just want to throw in at this point. If you should decide to buy less than uh, 10 cigars from the store manager or the associate who waits on you, you will get a Laurel and Hardy handshake. <laughs> oh, thank God you put that in there. Oh, my gosh. I almost forgot uh, that. Yeah, it's been three weeks since he I said know. it. Does he say it every show? No. Uh, <laughs> he, he, he yeah. works it in somewhere. Yeah, no. somewhere. It's the first time I've heard it, and I've, yeah. been, I've been here a couple of times. Yeah, yeah we, like we, I said, it's the first time in like three or four weeks since he said we, it. We just like to thank our customers. We, Absolutely. Without our customers, without our friends, we are nothing. That's a fact. We are zero. So, I mean, it's all about the customers and a good customer service. I mean, cigars, it's true. you can buy cigars in a lot of different places, but... You're not going to get the level of customer service, mm -hmm. at least That's we, we feel, true. we try our best to do the best. And, and, and the variety, the selection, and even the prices in a lot of cases, you know, better than our stores. 
So, you know, we appreciate your care. business. So, yeah. let's rate it. No, let's talk about the events. Oh. Let's talk about the event. Talk about the event. Right. Better hurry, though. This this Thursday in Reading. In Reading. All places <laughs> from 11 to 2. Then we transition over to Ludwig's Corner or uh, Glenmore, Glenmore from Chester Springs. 4 to 7. It's not that far away. It has right. many aliases, that store. So that's from 4 to 7. And next week, uh, next uh, Friday and Saturday, George Sosa is going to be with us in nice. four yes. of our stores. Nice. Master, Master Chief. Chief. Master Chief. Um, Absolutely. Let me know because I'm coming down. All right. And an old, old dear friend of mine. Great guy. George Facebook, buddy. Yeah, George. Yeah, he's Facebook. The best. Don't, don't ever friend all him right, on Facebook. Now we can rate it. <laughs> We'll and, be all over the place. and definitely fills about three quarters of my Facebook page. <laughs> well, we better rate it quickly. I, I, I love this cigar. Fantastic. Four, 4.85. Ah, ah, quickly. quickly. Um, Do it off the first one. 4.25. All right. It's not the end of the world. I yeah. agree with Scott. I, actually, you know what? 4.9. Ooh. Uh, all right. And okay. a 4.95. Sorry. <laughs> I'll Can't see your 4.95 make it a 4.96. <laughs> No, it's a good solid 485. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a very good cigar. I, yeah, I don't even want to rate it because it's. And you for need the to smoke price another one. Too. You, you want to rate the first, the first one? one. For me, the, the first one was 495. Are yeah. you kidding me? Wow. That was that was fantastic. And if you factor in the price, you gotta you gotta go higher. You have yeah. to. Yeah, but it's a good price point. It's definitely have to a good go price point. Price Perfect. Yeah. I just would like to say thank you for following me on Instagram. Um, a lot of Instagram people watch it on YouTube. I really appreciate that because they're from Detroit or Florida, so they don't get the actual local show, so they can watch it on YouTube. So thank you so much who follow me, and it's Sexy Cigar Legs at Instagram. Thank you. How close do they follow you? Oh my they God. follow me very close. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Well, again, <laughs> all this month is Alec Bradley Month. We want to thank, you know, Jonathan and Sam for Thank being you with us. Thank you, guys. Yeah. It's, our it's, it's our pleasure. Thanks as, for bringing us. Ab you guys. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like we've known you forever. <laughs> yeah, we really and we and we appreciate we appreciate being here, and we also appreciate the relationship. Well, thank you. It's 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 special, and what you guys are doing is special. Oh, well, we're trying. We're trying. We've got many, many thousands of people watching each yeah, week. We're special, all right. And and, and I think the amount of people that you tell us how much it. they look forward to seeing each episode. I mean, some are better than others, and we try. And none of us are trained professionals except Rob. The rest of us are, the rest of us are just a, he's amateur. He's a trained actor, not a trained TV show. He's, he's very good at when somebody tells him what to say. That's oh, true. I this see. is different. So well, I'm telling you what to say. Actually, actually, I'm telling I, you to say goodbye. I, I, two, I, two years of training in goodbye. improv. So. Life's too short to smoke cheap cigars. Bye, Mom. Hi, Mom, I mean. Uh -huh. <laughs> Quick for now, everybody. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Live true. Again, thank you for having us. Smoke sweet. Bye bye for now. Hi, Dad. Smoke sweet. He watches right. every week. Whatever. I don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> your turn. So he's the one. Smoke sweet. Thank you very much for viewing again. Thank you very much for your business. And don't forget Alec Bradley Month. Bye bye. Bye. bye.